Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing while Renita Allen Dawson, Associate Vice President of Workforce Continuing Education, gives the invocation. May we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to be a part of this special day. Today we do as you have instructed us in your word, as we rejoice with them that do rejoice, as we have come to celebrate the accomplishments of our family members, friends, and students. These students of Wayne Community College have persevered to reach this remarkable milestone in their lives. Graduation is no small feat, so for their accomplishments, we give you thanks. Father, we ask your blessings upon the family members and friends that have provided support and encouragement to these we celebrate. These loved ones were a reminder to never give up. Without their love, many may have not completed this journey. We invite you now to lose continued favor on the faculty and staff of Wayne Community College. Renew them with the patience, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and support they have provided to each student whom without their commitment to student success today would be impossible. We thank you for the still small voice which gives us the blessed assurance that all that is good comes from you. Now be with us through the remainder of this celebration and in the days to come. In your holy name we pray, amen. Thank you, Mrs. Dawson. Audience, you may be seated. And as you sit, please reach into your pockets and purses and silence your cell phones. What a fabulous day to hold the commencement exercises for the graduating class of 2018. It's a great day to make memories, so I welcome you to this special occasion. This ceremony would not be possible without the hard work of many faculty and staff members. So I want to thank you all for helping our students fulfill their dreams. I want to thank those former and retired faculty and staff members, some of whom touched the students before me and all of whose shoulders we stand on to reach higher and higher summits. If any of you are in the audience, please stand. I'd also like to recognize the people who make it possible for Wayne Community College to serve its community. First, members of the Wayne Community College Board of Trustees, the Foundation Board, County Commission, State Legislature, and State Board of Community College. Their names are printed in the program, and I ask that they stand and be recognized at this point. Thanks to all. I also need to give a huge thank you to those in the audience who have supported this year's graduates. Friends and family, and especially the mothers, grandmothers, and special aunts. What a Mother's Day gift this is to you. You helped make this day possible, and we're glad you're here to celebrate with us. And thank you, graduates, for reaching this accomplishment called graduation for making yourselves better persons through education and for what you will do with your knowledge and skills to make the world a better place. This class will have the distinction of being the first one in which a member will have received an honorary degree. Wayne Community College awards honorary degrees to recognize individuals whose extraordinary achievements have benefited the institution and the community at large. The institution may present an honorary degree to persons who demonstrate sustained and superlative achievement in public service, leadership, volunteerism, and cultural affairs. To honor and recognize individuals who embody the college's ideals, values, and aspirations while helping the college to advance its education mission, goals, and programs. And to inspire student, faculty, staff, administrators, alumni, and members of the local community to emulate such standards of excellence, integrity, and commitment. We believe that Lawrence Larry Boyce's contributions to the students of Wayne Community College make him deserving of this distinction. When Mr. Boyce became a volunteer at the college more than a decade ago, he didn't know he would end up being a consultant. 
a public relations representative, a salesman, and a champion for students, and all for free. As our former foundation executive director, Jack Cannon, tells it, for a few hot dogs. Mr. Boyce led the Wayne Community College Foundation Scholarship Invitational into new fundraising territories. He joined Jack Cannon as co-chair of the annual golf tournament in 2008, and that year they raised over $50,000 and awarded 58 scholarships. In 2009, Larry became the chair of the tournament, and he took the tournament to new heights. In the time he served as chair, which was until 2013, 892 golf scholarships were awarded to Wayne Community College students. His drive to steadily improve the event, the event and its results was fueled by his belief that education is the key to building the local economy by preparing students to become productive citizens, employees, and consumers of local business products and services. That year, the college presented Mr. Boyce with his highest honor, the President's Award for distinguished service. It was only the fourth time that recognition had been made. And this story could have stopped there. But Mr. Boyce didn't stop there. He has continued to volunteer with the Scholarship Invitational in addition to other organizations, and he has joined the Foundation's board. He still promotes the college and the tournament that makes it possible for so many to attend Wayne Community College. Many of our graduates here today were able to complete their education as a result of scholarships provided by the foundation and because of the hard work and dedication of Larry Boyce. Therefore, it is my pleasure to award an honorary associate in arts degree to Lawrence James Boyce, Jr. It is now time to recognize a member of our faculty. This is the 33rd year in which Wayne Community College has presented an award for excellence in teaching to an outstanding faculty member. Graduates, you know how important instructors are to your successes, and I know you respect our paying tribute to one each year at this ceremony. Would all previous recipients of the George E. Wilson Excellence in Teaching Award please stand? Please join me in a round of applause for these most talented and dedicated educators. Mr. Bill Hunter, the chairman of the board of directors of the foundation of Wayne Community College will present this award. I have the honor of recognizing a great teacher today. All of the nominees for this award have demonstrated the highest standards in teaching, but one stood out as Wayne Community College's best. One is deserving of this coveted award. David Jackson, the chair of our College Board of Trustees, will you join me in recognizing our recipient? The nom nominator of our winner called this instructor a mentor, a motivator, an advocate, and described her as engaging, energetic, unselfish, and devoted. Even more powerful is what the winner's students have to say about her. In my academic career, she holds the distinction of being one of the few instructors that has gone above and beyond to help her students in creating a safe, caring, loving, and positive learning environment. Though she may not have an intimidating demeanor, she is filled with love and affection for all of those around her. She urges you to be the best version of yourself and she only expects the best and that is all that she will accept. 
Outside of Wayne Community College, there's a plaque. The plaque reads, education is not filling the pail, but lighting the fire by William Yates. Many teachers show this, but she, in particularly, exemplifies this quote. When I first met her, I was instantly intimidated, but in a good way, like when you gaze upon a roller coaster for the first time and so much energy is there and happiness is in the experience. She has expanded our view in the world and how we can become a better part of the world by, sh by using our skills. I used to be very lost in what I wanted to do in life because I was always told that my pursuit would not be a viable talent. I was fortunate enough to come to this college and to take her classes. It is honestly the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. On behalf of the foundation of the Wayne Community College, I now have the pleasure of presenting the George E. Wilson Excellent in Teaching Award. Would art instructor Angela M. Waller please join us at the podium. as the George E. Wilson Excellent in Teaching Award for the year 2018. Good morning, Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Hunter, and congratulations to Ms. Waller. Our speaker this evening is Ms. Asia Morales. Ms. Morales has just completed her term as the College Student Government Association President. Last year, she was the Student Government Association's Special Populations Chair and President of the Criminal Justice Club. After she receives her Associate in Applied Science degree today, she plans to transfer to North Carolina Central University to earn her bachelor's degree in criminal justice, then go to law school. Ms. Morales has her career mapped out, planning first to work as a prosecutor, then become a defense attorney with her own firm, and eventually a judge. Clearly, this woman has goals. I am looking forward to the words of wisdom she will share with us today. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to thank you all for coming to celebrate the class of 2018 for Wayne Community College. I would also like to extend thanks to Wayne Community College's administration for this opportunity to stand before you all today. A special thank you to my parents for helping me to get to this exact moment in my life. I couldn't have done it without your love and support, so I thank you. My journey to Wayne Community College began at the age of 16, straight out of being homeschooled. So my perception of college was that it would be several long and dreadful years of my life. My first experience at Wayne Community College was meeting my advisor, Mr. E, or Mr. Everhart for those of you who don't know him. I'll never forget him asking me during that advising session, you got any money? And then he proceeded, well, I can't advise you if you don't have any money. Needless to say, I have the most awesome, funniest, and caring advisor that any student could hope for. Thank you, Mr. Everhart, for taking me in as one of your advisees and pushing me to reach out of my comfort zone. 
and thank you to the entire Public Safety Division. Each and, ev each and every one of you were extremely patient with me, and you guys have never doubted me. I have been given a family for a lifetime, and you all are the true definition of lifesavers. And last but not least, thank you to my SGA family. Mrs. Page, you have pushed me in a very special way. You always made sure that I was aware of the leader within me. And because of that, I am able to speak in front of 1,500 people today without a bag full of nerves and a face flush of red. My college experience here at Wayne Community College has been life-changing, as I'm sure it has been for many of you sitting out here today. If I would have allowed the doubt in my mind or my age to stop me from pursuing my education, I wouldn't be here before you today. So I sincerely thank each and every one of you at this wonderful institution. Graduates, we have finally made it. This moment is finally here. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Your hard work and dedication has finally paid off. Give yourselves a round of applause for endurance, strength, and bravery. You all are our future leaders, entrepreneurs, businessmen or women, medical professionals, whatever your degree is in. We are setting the path for future generations to come. In spite of the sweat and tears and days that we wanted to hit the snooze button, we have arrived at this moment together. Today as graduates, we are acknowledged and celebrated for the nights that we lost sleep, the nights where we just wanted to be with friends and chill, or even the nights we contemplated giving up. All of this has finally paid off. We stayed strong through the tears and frustrations, accomplishing much together with the help of our amazing family and friends wonderful faculty members, and our own drive to succeed. As you take on new endeavors in life, remember that your growth and success started right here at Wayne Community College. Remember the joy that you feel at this moment. Whether entering into a new career or furthering your education, and carry that with you into your future. Right now, you all have shown that you are trailblazers, whom are not moved by every wind. And if I can leave you with something that has impacted my academic career as well as my personal life, it would be to remember to check your perspective gauge. What you're thinking about, you're gonna bring about. If your perspective is broken, filter your thoughts through the right people. Congratulations and God bless each of you. Thank you, Ms. Morales, for sharing your story and those inspiring words. I feel confident that you will be as successful a student at Central as you have been at Wayne Community College. And I believe you'll make a fine attorney, whichever side you represent, and a fair judge once you ascend to the bench. It is now time to confer the curriculum degrees, diplomas, and certificates upon the class of 2018. Audience, please hold your applause until all graduates have returned to their seats. Everyone wants to hear the name of that special graduate that they are here to celebrate. Thank you for respecting this protocol. Dr. Gene Smith, Vice President of Academic and Student Services, will conduct this portion of the ceremony. He will be joined by Ms. Joanna Morissette, Associate Vice President of Academic and Student Services, and Mr. David Jackson, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Wayne Community College. Dr. Walker, I am pleased to announce that the staff of admissions and records has certified that these candidates for graduation are now ready to receive their certificates, diplomas, and degrees. Will the marshals please bring the candidates for graduation forward?
following students are graduating with certificates. Yesenia Luviana, early childhood. The following students are graduating with degrees. Azal Motahar Abda, Associate in Science, Honors. Yasmin Motahar Abda, Associate in Arts. Christine M. Adams, Associate in Arts. Gavino Lopez Aguilar, Associate in Arts. Karina Aguilar Sanchez, Associate in Arts. Wahiba Mohammed Alan Hanshali, Associate in Science, Honors. Kristen Michelle Alley, Associate in Arts. Renisha Reed Austin, Associate in Arts. Alex Angel Ambriz Herta, Associate in Science, Associate in Engineering, Honors. Carla Yvonne Ambriz Herta, Associate in Arts, Honors. Corey Anderson, Associate in Arts. Nathaniel Anderson, Associate in Arts. Jordan Ashley, Associate in Arts. Rebecca Allsworth, Early Childhood Education. Gospel Kumu Babutila, Associate in Science, Honors. Barbara Ariana Bard, Associate in Arts, Honors. Anna Elizabeth Barfield, Associate in Arts, Honors. Alfonso Fabian Beta, Associate in Arts. Letha Merritt Batts, Human Services Technology. Aza Garner Beasley, Associate in Arts. Gina Marie Bixby, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Honors. Destiny Rose Bowdy, Associate in Arts, Honors. Serena Renee Bowdy, Associate in Arts, Honors. Renee Bradford, Associate in Arts. Savannah Brewer, Associate in Arts. Derek J. Brooks, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Engineering. Jessica Brown, Associate in Arts, Honors. Marco Antonio Campus, Associate in Arts. Melanie Clarice Caputo, Associate in Arts, Honors. Carmen Cecilia Carias Romero, Associate in Arts. Aries Nicole Carter, Associate in Arts, Honors. Gloria Jean Coble, Human Services Technology, Honors. Kylie Kopak, Associate in Science, Honors 4.0. Juanita Cortez Torres, Associate in Arts. Madison Elizabeth Cottle, Associate in Arts. 
Alexis Cozine, Associate in Arts. Caleb Crawford, Associate in Arts, Honors. Carol Cruz, Associate in Arts. Hannah Blake Culbreth, Associate in Arts, Honors. Christina Dalrymple Perry, Associate in Science. Imani Daniele, Associate in Science. Dana Lou Wilson Daniels, Associate in Arts, Honors. Ashley Denise Darlington, Associate in Science, Honors. Venicia Faye Davis, Human Services Technology. Christopher B. Denise, Associate in Science. Shadija Talitha Cheyenne Dixon, Human Services Technology. Ashley Renee Dos Santos, Associate in Arts. Heather Lynn Dupree, Associate in Arts. Rachel Elam, Associate in Science, Honors. Brittany Dianara Fajardo, Associate in Science, Honors. Louise Manuel Fajardo, Associate in Science, Associate in Arts, Associate in Engineering. Shirley Marie Farmer, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Alexis Ferro Jimenez, Associate in Arts. Carla Erica Flores, Associate in Arts. Zach Fomar, Associate in Arts. Jasmine Lynette Foy, Associate in Arts. Jasmine Shanae Forbes, Early Childhood Education. Lauren Ann French, Associate in Science, Honors 4.0. Sydney Frontenez, Associate in Arts. Monica Ann Fuentes, Associate in Arts. Carrie Fung, Associate in Science. Angela Antonia Garcia Tunin, Associate in Science, Honors. Sierra George, Associate in Arts, Honors. Caleb Ginn, Associate in Arts. Tara Grady, Associate in Arts. Gracelyn Elizabeth Gurley, Associate in Arts. Lena Ayed Hamden, Associate in Science, Honors. Iman Adele Hanshali, Associate in Science, Honors. Jamie Hayden, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Taylor Alexia Heaton, Associate in Science, Honors. Brianna Hennett, Early Childhood Education. Deborah Jean Holland, Human Services Technology. Woo! Carrie Holly, Associate in Arts, Honors. Lisa Brooke Hollingsworth, Associate in Arts, Honors. Tony Wayne Hughes, Human Services Technology. 
Jelena Ishara Jett, Associate in Arts, Honors. Javanati Candicia Johnson, Associate in Arts. Raymond Jones, Associate in Arts. John E. Kinsey III, Associate in Science, Honors. Chirico Denise Cornegay, Early Childhood Education. Stephanie Lamb, Associate in Arts, Honors 4.0. Debbie Lanier, Early Childhood Education. Christy Lawrence, Associate in Science, Honors. Patrick Duzong Lee, Associate in Science, Honors. Ashley Dakota Lewis, Associate in Arts. Jose Leonel Loa Fonseca, Associate in Science. Byron Natan Martinez, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Engineering, Honors. Julissa Jamez Martinez, Associate in Arts. Hannah Nicole Massengill, Associate in Science. Takia Shawana McCoy, Associate in Arts. Haley McGovern, Early Childhood Education, Honors. Kathy Lynn Medlin, Associate in General Education. Tiffany Lynn Melvin, Early Childhood Education. Amber Lee Mills, Human Services Technology, Honors. Nina C. Moore, Human Services Technology. Danae Moreno, Early Childhood Education, Honors 4.0. Eloise Javier Morrison, Associate in Arts. Nicholas A. Neal, Associate in Science, Honors. Deborah R. Nichols, Human Services Technology, Associate in General Education. Ryan Olson, Associate in General Education. Adam Roke O'Malley, Associate in Science. David Ortiz Alvarez, Associate in Science, Associate in Engineering, Honors. Jennifer Ortiz Ayala, Associate in Science. Inaja Gerard Pace, Associate in Arts. Cassie Lee Parker, Associate in Arts. Christopher Aaron Parks, Human Services Technology. Tiffany Lee Pearsall, Associate in Arts, Honors.
Emily Perez Orego, Early Childhood Education. Seth C. Perkinson, Associate in Science, Honors. Ruben Dario Quiroz, Associate in Arts, Honors. Haley Denise Ray, Associate in Science. Stephanie Denise Razo, Early Childhood Education. Lexi Alyssa Reyes, Associate in Arts, Honors. Raquel Rodriguez, Early Childhood Education. Kristen D. Schneider, Early Childhood Education. Deanna Naleta, Patricia Kalma Seif, Associate in Science, Honors. Sarah B. Simpson, Associate in Arts, Honors. Brody Darrell Smith, Associate in Science. Margaret Ann Smith, Associate in General Education. Antoine DeCarlo Stallings, Associate in Arts. Alonzo Lee Stevens, Jr., Associate in Science. Summer Savannah Stone, Associate in Arts. Chloe Alyssa Sutton, Associate in Science, Honors. La Kimberly Chanel Swenson, Associate in Arts. Ashley M. Syverson, Associate in Arts, Honors. Candace Alexandra Taylor, Associate in Arts, Honors. Madison Tinker, Associate in Arts, Honors. Daniel Gilbert Toller, Associate in Arts. Jocelyn Trejo Ramirez, Associate in Arts. Crystal Charisse Turnage, Human Services Technology, Honors. Kalisa Devon Turnage, Human Services Technology. Joseph I. Vaughn, Associate in Science. Terry Lynn Wallace, Associate in Arts, Honors. Christopher Walton, Associate in Science. Christy West, Human Services Technology. Sarah Whipple, Associate in Arts, Honors 4.0. Charity Abriana Williams, Associate in Arts. Jordan Lewis Wilson, Associate in Arts. Kimara Withers, Associate in Arts. Antonina Constantine Woodley, Associate in Arts. Jessica Yarbrough, Early Childhood Education. Brittany Aaron Yerberton, Associate in Arts. Mary Catherine Yelverton, Associate in Arts, Honors. Cynthia Guadalupe Tijerina, Honors, Associate in Arts.
Ms. Morales, would you please join and assist me with this portion of the program? Graduates, please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in the position of president by the Board of Trustees and the State of North Carolina, I confer upon each of you your respective certificate, diploma, or degree with all the rights, privileges, and honors hereto. Graduates, you may now Turn your tassels. Please be seated. <laughs> that woke the place up, didn't it? I want to say a few words before you go celebrate. Class of 2018, this is your moment. It is one moment, an extraordinary one for many of you and your families. And we hope this is just one in a lifetime of accomplishments. So it made me start thinking about what we call this event. It is graduation. In addition to this act of recognizing your academic accomplishments, graduation is also the division of a thing into proportionate parts, or the marks on a vessel that indicate quantity. That seems like an appropriate way to look at just what happened here. We have just given you pieces of paper and entries for your resumes and applications that indicate that you've reached a mark. You have reached this particular point and that is why we use the other word for this occurrence, which is so appropriate, commencement. That word also means the beginning or the start of something, the act of commencing. This should indeed be the beginning, the springboard from which you go from this mark to as far as you will allow yourself to travel. Whether it is more education or training, a job or a career, finding your bliss in your work, hobbies, volunteer efforts, friends, and family, or simply exploring and discovering new bits of you, commence. Celebrate, revel, pamper yourself, enjoy this accomplishment, mark this moment, but do not stop here. Do not settle and do not lose momentum. Commence the rest of your life. These people behind me who have guided you to this point and those in the center of this sanctuary and behind you along the walls who have supported your journey will tell you that you have walked to the edge of the pool. Time to dive in and commence the rest of your life. Always remember where you started and proceeded through those marks on this vessel that is a community college education. Wayne Community College will always be a part of you and we want you to always be a part of Wayne. It is with pride that we send you off onto the next leg of your life's journey, and with open arms that we will welcome you back. Congratulations, class of 2018. After the benediction, the marshals will lead the recessional march. Audience, please remain in place until the graduates exit the auditorium. Please rise for the benediction by Mrs. Dawson. Now unto him who is able to keep us, protect us, care for us, and watch over us now and forever. Lead us from this celebration out into the wider community with our hopes and dreams fixed on committing to do what is right and pleasing in thy sight. To the all-wise, sovereign God who blesses and is forever blessed. Amen. <laughs>